All right, so in this video, I have a ton of packages that I wanted to show you guys, a lot of recent pickups and some stuff sent over to me. A lot of it I didn't even know what I was getting, so kind of exciting to see, but let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. Today's video is gonna be sponsored by Hibbit Sports. If you guys didn't know what Hibbit Sports is, it is an online retailer where you can go and buy a bunch of different sneaker releases that happen every single week through their release calendar. They also do have over a thousand retail stores across the US, so if you have one close to you, you can use their app and actually secure your pairs in store as well. They did drop the last pair of Yeezys as well as other pairs of Jordans and stuff that end up dropping every week. So definitely worth checking out their site if you guys haven't. In fact, three of the packages that came that you guys can see here are from Hibbit Sports. Uh, so shout out to Hibbit Sports. Check the link in the description to their release calendar or to download their app. And one of the pairs that I have in this video, I'm gonna actually be giving away to you guys out there. I'll give you guys that information in a second. But a ton of other stuff out here. Some of it, I have no idea what it is. Let's go ahead and show you guys what we have first though. This first one, I just wanna apologize because I have the box, but I don't have the actual box. And Hibbit Sports sent the box. Don't get me wrong. They like legit send the box over, but I can't find the box anywhere. I don't know where um, I put the box. This is the Nike Zoom Heritage from the N7 collection. If you didn't know what the N7 collection was, Nike and Hibbit Sports sent this package over the previous month, which is pretty rad. And it has the Air Max 270s in it, as well as a hoodie and a t-shirt and a really cool box and everything. So it's kind of dope that they sent this pair over as well. This is a model, as you can see, that was actually designed and signed right here by Tinker Hatfield. And it was actually created ground up for this Nike N7 collection. So kind of special. If you guys actually want to see a dedicated video of just this shoe, leave a comment in the comment section because I want to do so. But look at the bottom. Coolest feature of the shoe, I think. Just looks amazing. Really, really rad pattern on the bottom. There is an actual carbon fiber shank on the bottom. And then on the side, it looks like carbon fiber, but it's not. And then you have a texture on the back as well as a textured uh, Nike swoosh. And then it has kind of a beaded effect for that tongue with the N7 logo. Really cool looking shoe though in my opinion and I think it's uh, definitely a special one when they create something for this N7 collection which is definitely something that benefits the Native American community and the Native American youth. But that's the first pair from Hibbit Sports. The next one as you can see from the box it is on a pair of freaks right here. So look at these freaking shoes man. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram story the other day, but if you don't follow them, you guys should if you guys like my family stuff because I post a ton of family stuff, mostly some sneaker deals, but mostly family stuff. But Harrison said this. Uh, are you freaking kidding me right now? We have Uncle Kyle to think for that one because he ended up mentioning <laughs> that and then Harrison ended up repeating him. But anyway, we have the Zoom Freak 1s in the second colorway that dropped. Really dope colorway, simple simple colorway but this is kind of cool kind of looks like skateboard grip tape the way it comes across but it's not grip tapey at all it's like just a shiny looking nike swoosh and a lot shinier um in person than you can get from in pictures glittery almost right there as you can see it but a cool shoe nonetheless and you guys check out my review from a casual perspective i think this nike swoosh thing is just a really dope placement and it's just a really bold statement for a pair of sneakers, especially in this day and age. But I did post a video on these, so if you guys haven't seen it yet, check my channel, and you can go uh, see that video. But that is a second pair that Hibbit Sports sent, which is just crazy. Hibbit Sports shows a lot of love on this channel. I can't thank them enough. Uh, they really do send a lot of stuff over. And the third pair is this one right here. This is Air Max 270. And this shoe is one that I've done a review on already. If you guys saw my detailed review of these shoes. Go check it out if you haven't watched it. This colorway is super dope though. Really, really like this colorway. But this is actually the one that I'm gonna give away uh, to you guys. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway for this specific video, just leave a like on the video, be a subscriber of mine, leave a comment in the comment section, just any comment that you want, and the hashtag HessKicksReact. Check the description for all of the rules for the giveaway and I'll be choosing a winner in a week. And actually the winner of the uh, Air Jordan 3 Tinker Hatfields that I gave away actually posted his pair that I gave him uh, on Twitter the other day on Instagram. So uh, shout out to him for winning those ones. But legit giveaway, just super easy to do. I just want to give these to a good home. It's not a shoe that I need multiple pairs of. So uh, this one's to you guys. And just so you guys know, I did wear this pair one time. I will clean it up a little bit. Uh, next up, I want to show you guys a couple more things that I got. So I ordered this from a 
local shop in Portland, Oregon. And uh, you know, I always come through Index PDX, show some love, and when I saw that they tweeted out that they had uh, hoodies in stock, I instantly snatched one up. So this is to Mikey and T and the rest of the crew over there at Index. You can see the Deadstock coffee, as well as uh, Ian over at Deadstock. So Deadstock and Index right there. And then on the back, you can see the locations of each of the stores. Uh, super dope design, man. Really, really love this. And uh, man, super great stuff and love, uh, love both of those spots. So uh, if you're in Portland, everybody always tweets me and asks, where should I go? Those are two places you must hit, Index and Deadstock Coffee. I had to support the, the local dudes. So moving on, I don't know what's in the one behind. There's two back there. There's three, man, there's so many things. All right, moving on. Supreme, I got this, yeah, the other week, obviously, because there's no Supreme this week. But I mean, why not? I actually really like this one. This is the Reaper Tea. And just got in the gray, this crappy ash gray color. I hate ash gray. It's probably the worst. And gray is like my favorite color, even though technically it's not a color. But I don't like ash gray. I like the heather gray uh, better. But that is the Reaper T. I also got some shears. I mean, why not? Why not go super, super lame and get shears? I actually um, just bought a pair of shears for my house for the first uh, for the first time. Talk about being an adult. <laughs> and then also I have this uh, Supreme. Uh, cloud T right here in a uh, XL. So those are the three shirts that I bought from Supreme. Uh, all right, so keep you guys interested. We're moving on to this pair right here. This is my first look at these. So 350. If you guys were with me on Saturday morning, uh, shout out to you guys for following me on Twitter and being with me. But this uh, this drop was brutal, man. I sat in line for two and a half hours to try to get this pair of shoes right here. And, and by sat in line, I mean in virtual line and played with my kids with my computers open, like making dings whenever I got through, which was never. But I got through right at the end and I did secure a pair of box fart. This is my first look at the colorway in hand and I definitely have to say static butter. Like for sure, that's what these remind you of. Um, I will have a video review. I hope I won't bash these too much. At the end of the day, I'm happy I got them and I like the colorway. Don't get me wrong, I like all of the easy colorways, but why are they all the same? We don't need so many of the same. We've all said it a trillion times. We all know that they have so many that are so similar, but expand your color wheel easy. Mr. Kanye, expand it. We don't need any more natural earth tones, but at the same time, uh, here you go. Look at what I bought this week, everybody. Uh, I know I'm continuing the cycle, but uh, regardless, I was happy to get them. I mean, it sat, I sat there for a long time, uh, but uh, but it took forever to get through. Anyway, got a pair of the Lund Marks. Bonus for you guys in the comment section. What is a what? Why are these called the Lund Marks or whatever? Leave a, a comment and let me know because I have no idea even what that means. Somebody educate me. This one is from Jackrabbit, which is actually a um, sister company to Finish Line. So those that were wondering. Oh yeah. Look at that swoosh. I love the placement of that swoosh. Very symbolic, if you will. And then we have the Nike Zoom X on the box and it's uh, embossed on there, which is really nice. And then you have the clock symbol on this side. Uh, and nice, they went all out. I got the fancy bag so I can wear this fancy bag to my races on race day for marathon day because you guys know by marathon day, I will wear this to uh, Target or Costco, maybe Walmart, I'm not sure. And then we have these shoes, so nice looking material here on that. I feel like this is sandwich paper, like I'm gonna serve up my, my sneaker sandwich. That's the way it feels like right here. Um, all right, joke's over. All right, so this is my first look at the new Nike flagship running model. This is the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent. So I do have the 4% as well. I'll be doing a comparison. Uh, to these, from a casual perspective, keep that in mind, obviously. I know these are long distance marathon running shoes, but I wanted to see how these work because this Zoom stack is just crazy. I'm really excited to give these a try. Hopefully they won't feel too unstable. If you guys actually want to buy a pair of these, check the link in the description and I will link you to buy them. A pretty crazy looking shoe and I can't believe they had like a full sizer and still available. It was pretty wild. If you guys are still here for this video and you guys want to see me open these last two things, give yourselves a pat on the back and I'll give you a thumbs up if you want to give the video a thumbs up because you like it, that'd be cool as well. 
Uh, this is a long one, got a lot of stuff. Anyway, two boxes left. This one was actually a mystery package. Shout out to the folks over at Rejuvenator. They sent me this pair of shoes right here to do a Rejuvenator challenge, but... Wow, dope. So I got a pair in my size, and here we have it. The Sakai joints right here. The waffles, if you guys already know, I'm a fan of these. This is dope. They actually sent me the Sakai waffles uh, in my size, and it was one of those shoes I did a review on, and I wanted them in my size. I did a review from a friend's pair, and then now I have my own. But I got a video in store for these that you guys will probably want to see. It will probably involve my kid, but stay tuned for that video next week as well. But thank you to Rejuvenator for sending these over, man. And if you guys haven't used my code, Use code HESKICKS10 linked in the description. But if you haven't shopped at Rejuvenator yet, sneaker cleaning product of choice, check the link in the description. Save 10% with my code HESKICKS10. All right, so last but not least, I have another package here. And I have no idea what this is. Um, I got this to my old house, actually, which is kind of crazy because they're not supposed to be able to accept packages to my old house with my name. They should be forwarding them on. Uh, but luckily, my renters are super cool. Um, and they uh, they passed on the word that I got another package, so I don't know what this is. So and it's huge and it's super heavy. So let's check it out. What in the world? Oh my goodness! What is this? You gotta be kidding me! This is a turntable case. Oh my goodness! What? Oh my gosh! This is crazy. So that is an ASICS Tiger logo here. And James Hess, my name, 9.5. Somebody seated me from Foot Locker and ASICS. Whoever you are, thank you, thank you, thank you. But update my address, please. I don't want to lose the packages. Uh, sound mind, sound body. This is dope. So it's like a flight case for those that don't know. And I want to open it up and see what's inside and then we'll continue talking about this. Cause this, has, this is super crazy. I actually have one of these already for sneakers. Uh, that I'll show you guys in a second. All right, so let's open this up. Whoa, these are crazy. Yo, these are dope. So it's from ASICS Tiger USA. So sharing a pair of shoes to celebrate summer and the music festival season. Please enjoy the limited edition summer pack, uh, Gel Keanu 5. Man, thank you to ASICS for sending this over. Check these out. So these have to glow in the dark. Like you could tell from the the bottom right here, which obviously I'm a huge fan of. But this is also something that is rad. This midsole is textured. So there's actually a textured material on top of here, which is super cool. Um, and I'm sure this glows in the dark as well. Has a really crazy, shiny, iridescent material over top of it, which is also really nice. Adds a crazy, crazy vibe to the shoe, even on that little spot right there. Uh, I mean, this looks like a really clean looking model, and I know that this is a really comfortable model. Also, they sent over a fanny pack, but this is a pretty fancy fanny pack, uh, kind of sleek looking one. Dude, this bag is crazy too. It's such a trip. It says ASICS Tiger on it, obviously. Uh, yo, this bag is super, super psychedelic. I love it. That's crazy cool as well. And then also, gotta stay hydrated. Got an ASICS uh, water bottle. So this is a really dope pack. Um, I can't believe they, they sent this over like this. And I had no idea what was in the box because it was so darn heavy. I just want to say thank you to them for this crazy cool gift. But I love the theming of this gift. And I love the fact that it came in this turntable case. And let me show you why. All right, so for those that have been around my channel for a while, you guys already know that I had a Saucony collaboration with uh, the brand Saucony. And but this is a custom case that was made for my friend Paul and Tracy. And they like actually made this case for me, um, which was super crazy because you could see right here. It even came with this, which is not easy to create. But this actually has my information like it would on a box. Grid 9000 turntable, SL 1200, which is like what the turntable is. And then um, the Saucony Originals logo on it and everything. Super, super dope. And then they took... But then they took this Odyssey case, then they created this for me, which is just insane. So this is my actual first sample of the shoe that I created, and this is my turntable inspired sneaker. And you could see the Hits of Purple is actually inspired from this mat right here, the slip mat. And so this was one of those things that I was super passionate about. Also, this was the first pair of Saucony's that I know of that they um, had glow in the dark material on, and it was on mine. So this was like a super fun 
concept shoe that I did. That was the first sample, and then this is the one that I actually ended up releasing. So mine originally had three different colored dots because those are the different colored lights on the turntable, and then obviously that metallic material for the turntable as well. Uh, lots of details on here though. This is actually a, uh, a needle that drops on the vinyl and this material is supposed to be vinyl as well. So that is kind of the theme of that. And then this is the spin plate on the back of the shoe right here. So that is kind of just some Easter eggs of the shoe of what I added into the shoe. But For those that didn't know, I actually have my turntables in my sneaker room over here too. So I got uh, my, uh, my setup right here. And these are the, the flight cases that I have right here still. And then my turntables right here. Uh, along with my laptop so that's my little corner i gotta jam out every now and then uh, in here i don't use it near enough uh, but i'm still trying to learn how to scratch i'm working on it but this was my pet project and i loved doing this and creating this more for me than anybody because i didn't want it to be for the masses it meant something to me because of my extra money from dj and it basically started my sneaker collection and i had like 100 pairs like way way back in the day and i was basically a closet collector like i didn't really know anybody else i just had like 100 pairs and counting because i loved uh, collecting them and it was all because I was DJing that allowed me to afford all the extra stuff So that's why uh, these meant something to me And that's why it was really dope to have something so crazy in a real case like this made So to get a case like this and like a sneaker pack like this is just super fitting and super dope And it just triggers me to like remember uh, Where I uh, I came from with all these sneaker stuff I mean I came from DJing in nightclubs and stuff to getting sneakers that are themed after music festivals and stuff. It's just pretty crazy how it feels like it's coming full circle a little bit um, with something as cool as this sneaker gift. So thank you to Asics Tiger USA for sending this over. Super rad uh, care package. I can't wait to wear these actually either. These are just super dope looking in my opinion. Um, I don't have any release information but it's also Foot Locker as well so I'll try to find some links uh, to you guys to be able to buy these. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video this week. Some fun pickups that I ended up getting. Shout out to Hibbit Sports for these three pairs right here. You guys are just crazy for this one. And uh, leave those comments and the thumbs up for uh, your chance to win these. I'll be choosing a winner next week. Got something a little bit more limited here. And then also something super crazy here that nobody really cares about that I do. And then shout out to Rejuvenator for these gems right here. And the future video coming uh, on what we're going to do to these. But that's what we got. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed again. If you guys are new to my channel, Please hit the subscribe button, notification bell to be notified of when my videos go live. And have a great rest of the day. We'll catch you guys for some more videos very soon. Peace, guys.